I'm so excited to finally film this video. Hi everyone, my name is Laura and welcome to Casa Caribe. So dyeing with natural colors is a three-step process. In this video, we're going to see the step number two and number three. If you haven't seen step number one, don't worry because I'm going to put the video here and also on the description down below. The second step is the extraction of the color for the natural source. In this case, we're going to use the skins of avocado. If you don't know any recipes with avocado, you can look at my recipe for a simple and delicious guacamole that I will leave on the description down below. We start by putting a pot on the stove and pour enough water. Then we put the avocado skins. I have put too many avocado peels because we love guacamole. But with four or five, you can get the same result. I'm only using this type of avocado that is called Haas. Each type of avocado will give you a slightly different color. We put a little bit more water because I have a lot of avocado skins. and then we mix with a plastic or wooden spatula. Do not use a spatula of other material because it can change the color. We leave it heat for several hours, always mixing and controlling the color. I later realized that I made a mistake because I boiled the water and we don't want to cook the skins of the avocado. So I decided to reduce the heat because I was getting a very brown color and we want a more pink color. With the lower temperature, I start to have a more reddish color. Then with a glass, we control the color. We pour a small amount of liquid into the glass we want to have a reddish color, not brown. This is still very brown, so I'm going to leave it a little more time. I control again. I am now satisfied with the color. Now we have to clean the color, passing it to a side. As you can see, I still have many small pieces of avocado. This is a very important procedure because if you don't do it, all this dirt will stain the fabric. I'm going to do the same with the rest of the liquid. We pour more water to the color so that it will cover all the fabrics. 
And now that we have extracted all the color, we pass to the third step, that is the actual dyeing. Once we get the color, we put the fabric. One by one. We want them bath very well. Now we have to wait and wait and mix and mix so they don't create a stain. We check the color very often. So after two hours, I was not getting the color that I want. So I decided to put them back on the pot. And heat the water for a while. And after 30 minutes, I get the color that I really wanted. There is a light pink. We drain off the excess of color and water. And you see that we get a slightly different tones of pink, but this is because of the material of the fabric. This was the fabric at the beginning, so as you can see it was all white. And this is the fabric now. We get a light pink. Now we dry the fabric, we don't want to wash it, we just dry it and then a couple weeks later we can wash it. I'm very fascinated with this technique because from an avocado that is all green and brown you get a very bright pink. So it feels like magic. If you see that the water is still colored, you can store it in a glass container on the fridge and use it until you see that it no longer has any color. or you can give what is left of the color water to your plants. You will make them very happy. I'm going to continue uploading more videos like this, in which I teach you how to dye with waste that you have on the kitchen. So please subscribe so you don't lose all of these videos, but also to help me grow. But that was all for today's video. See you in the next one. Bye.